But as you can imagine, a lot of us have questions as this emergency continues. You want to be a source for your facts and not fear. Uh, we've been listening to your questions about how the salt water will affect you. Lily Cummings got answers to some of the most urgent. Let's answer four questions we've received about plants and wildlife. Is it safe to water plants? According to the Audubon Nature Institute, it depends on how much salt is in the water. More than 70 milligrams per liter could become toxic to plants if they are watered frequently. The bigger threat is salt building up in your soil. That's why horticulturists recommend investing any water on trees and shrubs. They say your grass will recover quicker than more mature plants. How does this impact fishing on the Mississippi River? The Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries says anglers may notice spotted sea trout and redfish in parts of the river that they usually do not. As salinity increases, bass and other species will move to upper parts of the river and marsh to seek out lower salinity until river levels return. What should you do if you have fish in aquariums that require regular water changes? Wildlife and Fisheries says if your fish is not tolerant of any salinity, buy gallons of unpurified spring water to use for water changes. It does not have chlorine or salt. Here's an interesting one. Will marine animals swim inland because of increased salinity? The Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries says it's not unusual to have sharks in the Mississippi River any given year regardless of salinity, but some animals to be mindful of that could occur in the river because of elevated salinities are jellyfish and stingrays. You can find a list of these questions and more on our website, wwltv.com.